California public health officials have dispatched a support team to Los Angeles County to assist with management of overflow conditions at hospitals, Governor Gavin Newsom said in a public address on Monday, December 28. Roughly 96% of hospitals in the county were diverting emergency patients at some point on Saturday due to overcrowding in emergency rooms, Newsom said, adding that hospitals on average were on diversion for 16 hours that day, unable to find room for new emergency patients. The state officially lists Los Angeles County with nearly 7, 200 COVID-positive patients in hospitals, including more than 1, 400 in the ICU. While the number of hospitalizations statewide reached all-time highs, the rate of increase in much of the state has appeared to slow in recent days suggesting that a peak could be in sight. But in LA County, where morgues were beginning to become backlogged with remains, the rate of new patients has continued at a steady clip. With average daily cases between 12,000 and 15,000 in the past few weeks, Newsom said the county could be in for a surge upon a surge. But when it came to emergency field hospitals, such as rebooting the Los Angeles Surge Hospital, the former St. Vincent site, or other sites, none were mentioned in L County. Staffing, Newsom said, continued to be an issue. So far the state has deployed 1,028 staff members into 116 facilities statewide. At a handful of state alternative care sites outside of L County just 67 patients were being treated. Because of limited ICU capacity, the regional stay-at-home orders were likely to persist with a formal announcement expected Tuesday, December 29. The teams sent by the state would assess the needs of hospitals in terms of staffing, personal protective gear, oxygen machines and ventilators. We've been able to take that information and are sending a new team embedded at LA County hospitals to encourage load leveling and greater coordination, said Newsom, meaning that hospitals will work together to transfer patients from those most severely impacted to those with fewer demands. Newsom said the impacts to hospitals will begin to be seen among patients receiving care for non-COVID related issues. Across the state 86 hospitals were granted staffing waivers, but those changes have consequences that